Hello, welcome to IF. We post new videos every week. Remember to subscribe and ring that bell to stay up to date. In this video, we're going to talk about the ever controversial assassination of JFK. President-elect Donald Trump has issued a statement saying that he will release all the documents held by the CIA concerning the murder of JFK. They have, however, been scheduled for release since 1992. Probably one of the most defining moments for the US as a country. If the truth comes out, it could have huge ramifications. But this is if. We need a question to continue. And that question is, if the truth has already been told. Everett Howard Hunt Jr., better known as E. Howard Hunt, was an American intelligence officer and a writer. Hunt had served as an officer in the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA. He was part of the Nixon administration's fix-it team known as the Plumbers. The secret team of operatives fixed White House leaks. The real or perceived causes of confidential administration information being leaked to outside parties. I love how obvious these spies and government agents are with their given code names. Hunt and a partner planned and carried out the Watergate burglaries, along with other undercover operations for the Nixon administration. On his deathbed in January of 2007, the CIA spy master, Hunt, confessed to being involved in the assassination of President Kennedy. He also named several other participants in the assassination. His son, St. John, had a collection of notes and recordings. In one of these audio tapes recorded in 2004, Hunt describes how he had been invited into the big event at a Miami safe house in 1963. He listed the other conspirators in the plot. These are the men that could organize and possibly carry out an act as heinous as killing the president US elect. First is Frank Sturgis, an anti-Castro paramilitary closely associated with Hunt. Sturgis was also a Watergate burglar. The second is David Morales, chief of operations at the CIA's JM Wave station in Miami. The third alleged conspirator, David Phillips, a CIA propaganda specialist and later the chief of the Western Hemisphere Division. He was also assigned to Mexico City. This is the same time as the recorded trip of Lee Harvey Oswald to the city. The fourth man, Antonio Vinciana, a Cuban exile leader of Alpha 66. He was claimed to have singled out Lee Harvey Oswald to be contacted by Phillips. Fifth, William Harvey, a CIA officer who ran the ZR Rifle Executive Action Program. Harvey sent sabotage teams into Cuba during the 1962 missile crisis and in doing so alienated himself to the Kennedys. Six is Corb Mayer, a high-level CIA officer whose ex-wife just happened to be having an affair with JFK. Seven, the French gunman on the grassy knoll. Hunt included an unnamed French hitman who he claimed shot from the infamous grassy knoll. And eight, Lyndon Johnson, Vice President, the most shocking name. And there is another video's worth of content on his goings on when he took power. Hunt said his participation was not active, but he was considered a bench warmer in the plot. Hunt did not make any claims which could be used to prove his allegations. He did, however, name the people that have all been suspects in the assassination for some time. In the smoking gun tape, which one played became a major part in him being removed from office, President Richard Nixon spoke of Hunt. Uh, also, there been some things like an informant came in off the street to the FBI in Miami where uh, there's a photographer who has a friend who's a photographer who develops some films for this guy, Parker. And the films had uh, pictures of Democratic National Committee letterhead. Not 
He then ordered the Chief of Staff H.R. Hellman to give a message to the then CIA Director Richard Helms. He asked Helms to intervene in Watergate investigations and stall the FBI's investigation because the message said the President believes that it is going to open the whole Bay of Pigs thing up. Helman's book The Ends of Power described the reaction to the message. Turmoil in the room, Helms gripping the arms of his chair leaning forward and shouting, the Bay of Pigs had nothing to do with this, I have no concern about the Bay of Pigs. Helman later formulated the belief that the Bay of Pigs referred to the assassination of Kennedy. This lack of corroboration has led to Hunt's story being challenged due to its inconsistencies in claims and the failure of Hunt to provide any details of his activities in 1963. Is Hunt's confession the truth? Many people will dismiss this confession, choosing to see the whole thing as the last laugh from a man who hated Kennedy with a passion. The old spy master did however think that he was dying at that time of the recording and it is at this time his eldest son came to visit. He was suffering with lupus, pneumonia, cancer of the jaw and prostate and gangrene from amputation of his left leg. He was a seasoned man who had long served his country and sensed the end. He had been instrumental in the violent removal of elected leftist president in Guatemala and assisted in the subterfuge leading to the murder of Che Guevara. Pondering his years of action and dedication to a cause he had once believed in and now facing the end, maybe he felt he needed to validate his actions by sharing them with his son. So propped up against his sickbed with pen and paper on his lap, his son next to him, he may have been truthful about the events that he participated in and a plot to kill the president. So is there more evidence than this which could be released by Trump? Maybe a better version of the Sabruda film. This film could be considered the most important 26 seconds in the history of film. Shot in the hot midday sun of Dallas on that historical day of November 22, 1963. Abraham Sabruda, a humble dressmaker, could not have known that the 26 second film would show one of the most historic and horrific series of images put to celluloid, a full color documentation of a presidential assassination. What is not common knowledge is that a single frame of this film was kept secret from the public viewing for 12 years following the assassination. Frame 313 is the number of the frame that gave Abraham Sabruda reoccurring nightmares. This frame withheld from the public at his request. Errol Morris, a noted documentary filmmaker said, We like to feel that the world is safe, safe at least in the sense that we can know about it. The Kennedy assassination is very much an essay on unsafety of the world. If a man that powerful, that young, that rich, that successful can just be wiped off the face of the earth in an instant, what does that say about the rest of us? Most have seen the Zabruder film with 15 million plus YouTube views alone. The haunting images of a motorcade led by two open top limousines driving at a stately pace through a plaza lined with people. The black Lincoln Continental with JFK and his wife Jackie, showing them waving to onlookers as the motorcades head for the locally known triple underpass. We see JFK's car emerge from behind a sign that had been blocking the view for a short time. Then suddenly we see JFK grab his throat. Jackie leans over him. An instant later, in the infamous frame 313, a bullet strikes JFK's head. We see his head explode and be thrown back. Jackie Kennedy then frantically crawls over the rear seat, grasping a piece of her husband's shattered skull. The impression given is that the gun blast came from in the front of JFK, resulting in his head being blown backward. Some experts claim that this is an optical illusion. JFK had actually been hit from behind, slamming his chin forward and into his chest. His head was then seen recoiling backwards in the film, making it look like he had been shot from the front. We could get into the ballistic oddities of the murder, but then that would make an extremely long video and take us away from the opening question. What will Trump release and was Hunt telling the truth? 
I believe the Warren Commission finding of Lee Harvey Oswald as a lone assassin is wrong. Then if he was not the lone gunman, who else could it be? Do we have the evidence from Hunt? I think so, how about you? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to know the truth, take a shot at that like button. Don't be part of the conspiracy of silence, share this video or subscribe. Catch up with the channel on social media. Till next time.